it's probably the most important disease of cotton in Texas, but uh, it's not every square foot of land in the, in the areas I've described that have cotton root rot. It's, it's in patches, generally. The first documentation of it I could find in print uh, dates back to 1872. And I, I think that coincides when they started uh, growing cotton in the Blacklands area where, where the disease was. But there was uh, always activity uh, since, since the early, early 20th century with, with cotton root rot, uh, research done, done by plant pathologists. There were a lot of new fungicides that were on the market and, and some of them are already labeled on cotton. So we figured, well, oh, this would be an easy route just to start to continue the screening program and, and look for other compounds uh, that not only would work against cotton root rot, but would have a good chance of being labeled by the companies. And Top Guard, it's, it's new to the United States. I became aware of it because of my work with soybean rust, and that was one of the new fungicides that was brought in to the United States to, to deal with this perceived shortage of fungicides should soybean rust ever become an epidemic in the Midwest. Uh, well, that never happened. But meanwhile, and, and that's also a bit of a factor in why, why uh, top guard is, is going to be, be used on cotton. Um, but what we did was, was, was test that material and, and it was at very high rates um, and it worked. It was, it was really awesome because you look in the field and the rows that were treated with top guard you could tell because they're all healthy. And adjacent rows that were not treated or treated with other fungicides you had a lot of dead plants. And that, that was the start of it. Well, we, we found that lower rates put through the drip system also worked. But the biggest advance, since not everybody has drip irrigation, was finding that we could put it out at planting, uh, right in, in the, the seed bed as an inferro application, the same way the fertilizer is put out. Cheminova, the company that produces Top Guard, was interested in it. It worked. We had some positive data, and, and that for me was sufficient to um, go to the TDA and, and request a a Section 18 exemption. Um, so we did that, and um, and now here we are in 2012. It's it's been granted, and uh, growers have it in their hands. So it's it's one of those serendipitous things.